when you think of the ultimate Midwestern treat, the thing that pops right into many of our minds is the classic puppy chow. The classic cereal treat has been a staple of many kids' diets for what seems like ever, but have you ever tried to improve on the classic? Today we're being joined by Molly Hill, the pastry and baking instructor at CTE Academy. Molly stopped by for a visit to show us how we can create the ultimate perfect puppy chow just in time for the cold season when you're looking for the best comfort food. Absolutely. I don't even know why I said kids diet because this is a staple of my diet. It is a staple. It's a good Midwestern staple. I think Honestly, puppy chow might be my all-time favorite, like even dessert of Like, give yeah. me, move over whatever creme brulee, give me some puppy yeah. chow. We had a neighbor just move from Oregon, and I was telling him about that, and they're like, what? I was like, muddy buddies are apparently the not Midwestern term. I'm like, yeah, you're going to have to change that. It's well, I mean, regardless, sure I don't think actual puppy chow or mud is really that <laughs> Not too appetizing, so I'm not right? sure why. Okay, so we're making a cookie version. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're doing so it. So what is the base of the cookie? It's a peanut butter cookie. Peanut butter cookie. Yep. Oh, so that makes a lot of sense. Butter, peanut butter, vanilla, egg, Just your standard, brown sugar. Any standard peanut butter cookie peanut you like. Are you, you could even get a packet and I won't tell. Packet. Yeah, you but, won't tell. I won't tell either. No. And the thing is, there's so many other things happening here. It's that, a, it's a very layered cookie. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of components to this. I wonder about putting a little, um, if you're making your own dough, adding a little graham cracker crumbs to it. Absolutely. You can. Right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So do you thumb, like kind of thumbprint them before you bake you them? You can. Um, what I do, kitchen hack, is you can use a spoon, like the back of your spoon, yeah. to kind of like make an indent. Um, or you could do like any of like the tones or McCormick spices. Yeah. Just go ahead when they're out of the oven, just press them down to just make that right little. Out of the oven. Yeah, yeah, thumb print perfect. Fish. So then, this is where the magic happens. Yeah, okay, so, so we've already made our puppy chow, right? But you yeah. still have that chocolate peanut let me butter just, let me just mixture. Make sure this is Quality okay. control at its finest. It's good, okay. Yeah, right? So all you do is take like equal parts, probably a quarter cup peanut butter, a quarter cup of chocolate chips, melt those in the microwave. You want to go low and slow in the microwave, right? right. Because what's the worst smell? Seizing it up and yeah, burnt gross, chocolate gross. is yeah, awful. It is not so good. Um, take it out after every 30 seconds, stir it around, and you just want like this smooth, kind of like pipeable consistency. Yeah. So what you want to do if you want to pour it out of that, or if you just take a spoon and just kind of like dollop, if Into you will. The this is like our here. ganache, you would call it. Yes, here. like. We'll just say a Midwestern ganache. A Midwestern right? ganache. <laughs> I've seen people put butter in this. I don't like it. What do you think about that? I To make the puppy chow itself, I put a you little do. bit of butter in it. Okay. Yep. With this ganache, you don't really need it because that peanut butter already has what you need in it for. So Why do you put butter in it, though? I don't even understand. I just to have. like kind of prevent the burning. It'll just kind of give that... Just like a little extra liquid, just like a little, little seat belt to prevent your chocolate from burning. Okay, so this is adding to our puppy chow arsenal because we've done puppy chow, like truffle balls. We've done puppy yeah. chow, regular puppy chow. I think we've done puppy chow s'mores, maybe. Yum. I don't, I can't, I can't even remember. It's really all the puppy a chow. favorite for most everybody. It really is. Yeah. What's not to like? Yeah. Peanut chocolate, butter, good. Peanut butter. Chocolate, good. Chips. Powdered sugar, also good. All good. All the things. So you just, yeah, you just fill your kind of your well, if you will. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to, you can use like a little baby sifter that we have. If you want to sprinkle it, that's fine too. But then just go ahead but and give... But do I put that on first? That, oh, we're going to do this, this first. first. Yeah, okay. and then we'll just kind of... The actual puppy chow pieces will just be like a garnish. Okay. Um, so just and kind of like snow cap snowy, it, right? Yeah. Okay, these are good. We're just going to make it a little extra because we can. Because we can. Yep. This is going to be so good. Okay. And now I add my puppy chow? Yep, just add a few pieces. Some people, I mean, if you like a big bite of it, sure, if you want to crumble it up a little bit. and Can you explain pieces. to me while I do this how you make puppy chow so that they're not big? Like, these are all individual pieces. My yeah. puppy chow comes out in some big clumps. Oh God, I love the clumps. I do too. Like, but everybody loves the clumps, as how do you, you do should. It though, like, to make um, so, when I grew up, my mom <laughs> had um, an unscented garbage bag, and that's how we would mix. Yeah, um, okay. So a garbage bag or a brown paper bag, anything. Um, what I do is I sometimes go old school with Ruthie and <laughs> do the, the brown paper bag or the garbage bag. I always do a brown um, paper bag. But now yeah. I have this giant uh, like plastic Tupperware bowl that I just kind of like move and shake and all the things. Sometimes you just kind of have to get your hands in there and, you know... So release the clumps, but I think, I mean, my sister and I always would like fight over who got the clumps, right? I know, right? Because it's, but this looks it's kind of like the wishbone. 
right? Yeah. What is, how does that look? Uh, delicious. Is there anything to the temperature of the chocolate when you pour it and when you add the powdered sugar that, like, if it's a little cooler, do you think it clumps less? Uh, it could. Uh, it really depends on the chocolate to Chex ratio, okay. right? Uh, also, humidity is a humidity huge thing. Is a big so thing. sometimes in the summer when I make it, I have to really be careful. And then sometimes just like laying, laying it out, out on the counter and like letting it dry. Just a little if you bit. were to like keep it, like put a lid on it right away, all that moisture from the chocolate and the like humidity and the heat, it's something. It's it's gonna, it yeah. turns your checks soggy, actually. So, it does, right? Yeah, you want to make sure that you kind of spread it out, let it dry out for a little bit, um, and you should have clumpless or oh, I don't know I, mean, I like the keep clumps. the clumps okay I'm living my best life right now are you ready <laughs> huh and there's a crunch to it mm -hmm. soft chocolate layer oh yeah yeah that's really good I I can't get enough puppy chow let's be honest <laughs> so I told you a few things I've made with puppy chow besides mm -hmm. puppy chow yeah you got these cookies do you have anything else in your arsenal Oh my gosh, puppy chow arsenal. No, I think sometimes it's just best to stick with the classics, mm -hmm. right? I think this is the furthest thing that I've ventured out with puppy chow, but I've seen, um, I've seen the truffles that you've talked about. Mm -hmm. um, some people wanted, one of my clients wanted a cake before, a puppy chow cake. Yeah. So we did that, just kind of like topped it, topped it with puppy chow on top. How about a puppy chow pie? <gasps> that would a, be delicious. Like a French silk peanut a, butter pie yeah, topped with puppy it. chow? I don't think you can go wrong with any of that. Maybe that's what I make tonight. Yeah. Maybe that is what I make tonight. You should. I have all these. Oh, I love these. So do your kids at school, they all know puppy chow is though, right? They should. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I haven't done my job correctly if they don't, if they don't, right? You've heard it here. Yeah. If you go to CD and you don't know what puppy chow is, Ms. You'll Ms. Hale learn. has failed you. You'll learn real quickly. Mm. I don't want to stop eating this. This is so good. It's delicious. And the thing, you want to kind of like soft, like under bake your peanut butter under cookie. Under bake, yeah. That's kind of always the key for a really good cookie is just slightly underbaked. You could even probably do a peanut butter chocolate cookie if you wanted to like Absolutely. build a little more of that puppy chow yep. in. Or add a little cocoa powder into your peanut butter mm -hmm. cookie. Oh, mm -hmm. there's so many things. We yep. can just keep eating puppy chow all day long, it's right? delicious. I love it.